This is going to go in four parts. The first is anger. The first section of this book is about, uh, it's spoken by several dolls. One of these is called Slanted Head, because that's all it is. Slant all the truth, you violencers. Suckle me with depth charge, esculent. I see you start guiltily up from tweaking the festival of Carnea with your sweaty fingers. And I think, assembla, blah, blah. You do not have a share in the world that remains. On my first visit to Algiers, 50 of us snoring on one mattress, I experienced a complete change of linen. And you were fitted with high wooden sandals, as if you owed the place, plus a bucket or two of cold water. Do you know what a constitution is? Notorious dependence on a few phrases, plus a row of knuckles. Regarding moonlight or droplets, it is still early enough to judge the effect of reform. Despair. This is called The Lost Originals. It's, a t it's the title poem. And it weaves together uh, language from uh, the work of Susan Howe and also a uh, conference paper I once heard on that subject. The Lost Originals. This refers to history in a state of nakedness as it is written now that the hand that writes is gone. The Wound in the Mind. This refers to the plaque as it is written with an archival hand and a docudrama arm we membered. I had been aloof. This refers to the fact of war. As it is written, high definition is a psychic preserve, a knowable extinction. Fails, falls. This refers to a judgment. As it is written, by stepping out, you are joined. What happens within this shrinking? This refers to waving faces as it is written, are you not a self? And is not self a vanishing intercession? The ghost is more than a ghost. This refers to interested trauma as it is written when searching through the wreckage. The man was an occupant. This refers to private memory as it is written, two fingers distinguished him. The pages gutter. This refers to the devastation, as it is written, a tender living. The white sheet, if not culpable, refers to absence, as it is written, if we do not claim a kind of dark, what is our portion? This part is nostalgia. It's called gathering marigolds. I remember marigolds. I remember marigolds, zinnias, and asters. I remember marigolds there, zinnias, pansies early, hollyhocks. I remember marigolds staining my white socks. I remember marigolds and impatience. Here's what I remember. Marigolds have an odor, so be prepared for that. I remember marigolds everywhere when we were in Xenia. I remember marigolds sprouted in a Dixie cup brought home from brownies. They were my mother's favorite plants once Victoria Day had passed. I remember marigolds and the Taj Mahal room 302. I remember marigolds, they stank. And I think daylilies and irises. Are you new? Ari asked suddenly because I haven't seen you before. I remember marigolds. Yeah, I remember marigolds. This is not what I remember marigolds looking like. Some summers now, a lone poppy rises in the field. For some reason, I remember marigolds. 
the stars at night sleeping with the Indian moon, a white sheet on the window. As a child, I remember marigolds being my absolute favorites. I remember marigolds placed in the spokes of an old rusted wheel, the acrid smell of salix leaves. Some, some streets and the bazaar, the road to Srinagar. Their front yard was the only place I remember marigolds. I remember marigolds. That was my job. Mostly, I remember marigolds and onion skins. I remember marigolds, zinnias, bachelor buttons, and snapdragons. Oh, and the peonies. Last poem, Hope, Handless Doll. Sometimes a single word can grant me the will to live. Do you know how old I am? Do you find my legs beautiful? Come, touch the clustered pale grapes of my hair. On the day my midnight blood breaks the skin, the whole world will become blue. Thank you. Thank you.